Lo, I think the Cavaliers have become too three-point centric. They shoot more threes than Golden State, which is ridiculous. They don't shoot it nearly as well as Golden State. They're 12th in the league in three-point percentage. They're third in the league in three-point attempts. Right. The, they, they should not have to live and die by the three. You got LeBron, obviously, who was great at driving to the bucket yesterday. Rodney Hood, Jordan Clarkson. These are scorers. These are not just spot-up three-point shooters. In fact, they're not spot-up three-point shooters. So you don't have to rely on just a three-point shot. Their half-court offense yesterday was atrocious. They're lucky they got out in the break, and they had great transition offense, and LeBron was driving to the bucket, getting a lot of layups. That's what had them in the game. But they were 8 for 34 from three when they lost to Washington. 8, eight for, for 35, 35 from three. Yeah. They don't need these games where they're taking that many threes. The reason the half-court offense was so bad, in my view, is because it was all set up to get three-pointers. If LeBron didn't drive and score a layup, they were looking to get somebody a three. There were times in the first quarter where Tony Parker was on LeBron, and they didn't post him. Right. And that's part on LeBron. He didn't. He was at the elbow not looking to post, but they don't well, have to JJ be so three-point happy. <laughs> Do you think there's, a, there's something to the fact that the more LeBron drives, the more frustrating he's getting for not getting calls, and he's settling for these outside shots. Maybe the other guys are watching him, and they, I mean, after the game, some of them were talking about how well, frustrated he is he's not getting the calls, so they rely a little too much on that shot from outside. I mean, I think the way I think right now some of it is because there's so many new bodies. The simplest offense for guys to learn is listen. Clear out, spot up on the three-point line. LeBron's going to drive and be ready to shoot. But like, they were doing this before these new guys. Oh, absolutely. They were shooting. Hey, listen, this is they, they have transitioned to one of last year in the finals, the two most three heavy teams in the league outside of Houston were Golden State yep. and Cleveland. Like this is who they are. And in that game against Washington, when I mentioned that they the guys other than LeBron down the stretch were 0 for 10, that was all three pointers down the stretch. Uh, the only person against Washington the last few days ago. To shoot a two-pointer was LeBron. Yesterday, you mentioned the, the guys as a whole. They were 8 for 34 yep. from 3. But the thing is this. That is the type of player that they've acquired and who not, is on the not court. Not now. But hold on, well, Rodney. Who, who's a, name one player on their team who's a knockdown three-point shooter. I think they have one. Just Kyle Korver? He's the only He's one. He's only thinks. knocked down. The other guys are streaky. LeBron will get hot and look great from three. Rodney Hood is a Rodney good three-point shooter. Rodney Hood's point. been at 38% for his career. He's a good three-point shooter. He's not a knockdown three-point shooter. Well, I mean, I think... Jordan when, Clarkson can get hot, but Clarkson, he's not knocked down. I wouldn't call a knockdown shooter either, but George Hill was, when the Cavs acquired him, the league's Because he wasn't shooter. shooting a Correct. lot either. The more shooting. he's going to play and shoot, he was the only shooting was wide open shots, but I I don't I don't necessarily have a huge problem with the Cavs' offensive approach because I think it's been effective. Is it going to be Golden State? That's the you're not going to outshoot Golden State. The listen, they're not going to beat Golden State in the game when the starters go six for because 28. that's but that's the nature of jump shooting where you're not a tremendous jump but, shooter. You're going to have off nights. Golden State typically is not because they have better shooters. But if we remove the three pointers, the starters then went six for eighteen. Like th this was a, you, to beat Golden State. If that's the standard, and and, and I understand why it could. I'm be. not saying don't take any three. I, take a lot, but to me they're too heavy on it. Go ahead. Have some cutting. You know what I'm saying? When LeBron drives, have Hood or somebody cutting to the basket and hit him with for a drive and layup. All right, if we get back three. to the question, do we jump on the bandwagon too soon? I think what you said is correct. It's the bandwagon is maybe not all the other players. Maybe the bandwagon is this guy getting rejuvenated, getting his energy back, getting his desire to want to play back. And yeah, he is. 33 points last night, and you could tell he started when the. When everyone else wasn't shooting well, he kind of willed it. He was like, I'm going to take it upon myself, and he did it over and over and over again. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't enough because they weren't hitting their shots, and this might be a fundamental disagreement we have. I think the only way they can beat Golden State or Houston is by hitting a bunch They're of They're not, though. They're I not that good of shooters. Oh, well, I mean, they, the, the thing they, is— They can get streaky. JR is streaky as all get They're out. They're going to have to be streaky for a couple games in that series to have a shot at it. Right. I don't think they can beat straight up. I don't think they can beat them when— the, when 
Golden State or Houston are going for threes. I don't think the Cavs ha have enough possessions to yeah, be I'm going not, for two. Again, I'm not saying don't shoot the three. You could take 30, but they're way above. They're okay. above 30. They take three more than Guys, the first. My new favorite expression. Now that I've been home for you two weeks yeah. with a two and a four-year-old, I guess we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. Oh, okay. Coming up, and I've said it a million times with them. It's happy to be here now. Coming up, does the NBA have a Jaja problem? Yes. That's next on first. Yes. First. I am so done with this guy.